Hello. Hello, is James available? Yes, may I, t- may I ask who's calling? I'm calling from the hobo store. This is Jared. Oh, okay, just a moment. Okay. Hello? Hello, James? Yes. Hey, I'm calling from the hobo store. This is Jared. Yeah. And you bought some tiles from us, right? Yeah. Because uh, we Several. have a... What's that? Several different times, yeah. Yeah, yeah, because this most recent time, like the tiles you bought, I'm pretty sure they're counterfeit, because we've got this girl here. Her name's Rebecca. She's in a pottery class at her community college, and she keeps making fake tiles. And she sells the fake oh, really? tiles to customers, and she just pockets the money. Yeah. Did you use those tiles yet? No. Oh, thank God. No. Because, I mean, they're they're much more fragile than re- real tiles. Yeah. And if you flip them over, you'll be able to tell they're not counterfeit because they don't say made in China. Oh, okay. Yeah, so just so you know. Uh, if All right, you, well, if, can I return them then? Or? Oh, no, no, all sales final. I'm just saying, like, if oh. you put those tiles down, you're not going to want to walk on them with shoes. You're going to want to take oh. off your shoes and walk with with bare feet or socks. Really? Yeah, because, you know, they can break really easily if you if you stomp hard across them. Oh, great. Yeah, you got, so you got to be really careful. Are they for your house, or are they for, like, a job you're doing? A job. Okay. Uh, you're going to need to tell those people that they cannot wear shoes in that room that you put those tiles in. Oh, wow. And that tell, won't work. Tell them to walk softly and, t- like, post a sign at the door that says, Take off your shoes. And if they have children, mm. tell them they can't run. Mm. Um, they may want to put like yeah. some felt on the bottom of their kitchen chairs or whatever. We we probably uh, will just use different ones then. Okay, all right. And, and uh, use those. You're going to have to look at each one individually because she does a really good counterfeit job. <sighs> and And this is somebody in... Yeah. yeah, yeah, she goes to the community college. She takes a pottery class. And what she's been doing is she, in pottery class, she uses the school's clay and she just makes fake tiles. You know, cooks them in the wow. oven and then she sells them to customers and she just pockets the money. And I keep telling her to cut it out. I'm like, God damn it, Rebecca. You can't do this. Stop it. And she just keeps doing it. I don't know what to do. Okay, well, thanks for calling. I'm just, I'm at my end's wit. My wit's end. Okay. That's what I meant to say. All right. Thanks yep. a lot. Now, Rebecca's pissing me Bye. the fuck off, you know? I'm about to punch her in the stomach. <laughs> Fucking Rebecca. Hello? I, I was trying to tell you I'm about to punch Rebecca in the goddamn stomach if she doesn't quit you, uh, doing this. Yeah, uh, look, I don't, I don't want to talk anymore. Why not? The, Do you have to be up early? In the middle of... Uh, what? You're in the middle of sex? No. Oh, what did you? what were you saying? I'm sorry. I was just assuming. <laughs> Hello? Hello, Steven? Yes. Hi, this is uh, Brad. I, I work over at the Bargain Outlet. You bought some cabinet. Hi. Hi, you bought some cabinets from us. Uh, I did, and then I returned them. Oh, you returned them? Yeah. Okay, well, I'm glad you're willing to admit that because when you returned them, they had termites in them. Uh, I only had them for maybe two days. I brought one in my house and it didn't match, so I only opened one of them. Yeah. Well, I mean, the one that you opened, it had ter- it was filled with termites. And uh, termites. yeah, and and they they spread to the rest of the store. Basically, our store is just infested with termites now, and it's your fault. Uh, okay. So was it just some kind of prank? You thought it'd be funny to infest our store with termites? Are you joking me right now, man? No, of course not. This is this is ridiculous. We've had to close down for the day. We have to wait for the exterminator to to get here. Uh, dude, I had them in my house. And and your house is your house has termites then? No, my house does not have termites in it. Well, have you checked lately? Because this sure was filled up with termites, and it wasn't when you left here with it. Dude, there was nothing on the cabinet when I took it back. Yeah, it was all inside the cabinet. It's completely filled with termites. Well, that's odd, man. I don't have any termite issues in my house. Well, we have termite issues here now, and you're responsible for it. And I think you should have to pay for the exterminator. He's going to charge. Okay, I'm not going to pay for an exterminator. He's going to charge six hundred dollars to do our whole store and get rid of all the termites that you brought in. I'll look in my house right now, and if I find termites, I'll call you back. Okay, well, th- this is bullshit. You don't even seem to care. You're acting like it's not your fault. Hello? Yeah. 
Oh, hey, I'm calling for Ruth. Is this Ruth? Yeah, it's 2 o'clock in the morning. What? Yes, it's, that's it's correct. Wrong. That's It's actually 2.16 in the morning. Yeah, what's the matter? Oh, well, I'm calling from the hobo store. You bought some tiles from us? Yes. And I'm the janitor here. I'm, I'm just, I'm working at the night shift. I'm cleaning up the store. Yeah. And, and it looks like uh, they shorted you a few tiles. I found your invoice. Oh. And I was All sweeping right. up. I swept up your in, your invoice. All right. And, you know, we shorted right. you a couple tiles. You're going to need to come in and get those. All right. And, you know, right. like... Thank you for calling. Well, look, I'm almost off work. I'm almost done cleaning up the store. I could drop by real quick, and I'll just knock on the door. Maybe... You know, I don't knock on the door. Okay, why don't you just drop them off? That's fine. Yeah, Thank yeah. You. I appreciate that. And um, maybe, you know, you can invite me in and for a cup of coffee or something for my trouble. Well, I don't know how I gotta get to sleep. Why? Yeah, so just drop off by the front by the front door, okay? Well, so no, no, no. I want to knock. I want to come in and have a cup of Joe. Like, what do you? Do you I don't even have coffee. No, I have to. No, I get oh. up early for work. Well, so. do you have a? Otherwise, I can pick it up. I'll pick it up have, then tomorrow. Do you have Pepsi or uh, what do you have to drink there? Do you have any alcohol? No. Because I mean, I'm up. For, I'll just pick it up. What do you I'll have? Just pick it up myself. Why do you have to be I'll up? Just pick it up. Do you have to be up early in the morning? What do you have to do? Yeah, I have to. I'll pick it up myself. What, the what are you doing in the morning? <laughs> I'll pick it up in the morning. Okay. Well, you didn't answer my question. I have the invoice here. I okay. have the invoice here. Well, invoice. wait, wait. If 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 I just drop them off tonight, to then you don't have to pick them up in the morning. So you, you it's up to you. If you don't want to, that's fine. I'm oh no, I don't mind. Up. I don't mind. I just want to come in. Maybe we can watch some Netflix no. together. No, no, no. We're, we're, I'll just pick it up. Were you I have the invoice. Were you asleep? Okay, th- thank you. Bye. Wait, were you asleep when I called? What? Oh. I have a request from a guy named Juan, who has sent me numbers before of hobo customers. You know, people who bought furniture and cabinets and stuff from a hobo store. He got fired. He says, two weeks ago, I got fired for cussing out the managers, and he made a scene because they're assholes. So now you can make a job reference call for me, LOL. So he gives me the number, tells me his name is Juan, and he wants me to try to speak to Josh or Angela because they're the main managers and that they're fucking assholes. Thanks for calling Hobos. This is Lori. How can I help you? Hello. Is the manager Josh available? Or um, me? He's actually in a meeting. Can I take out a message? Oh, uh, what about Angela? Is she there? They're all in a meeting. Oh, okay. Uh, should I, I just... can, You want me to interrupt them? Oh, if, if possible, sure. Sure. Okay, hold on one second. Okay, thanks. Josh, being copy. Hello, Josh. Hi. Hey, this is uh, Roy from the Walmart. Hi. Hi, and uh, I was just calling to do a reference check on Juan. Okay. And uh, did, did you did have him working there just recently? Yes. Okay. I mean, was there a reason that he left? Um, just no longer here. All it is. That's all oh. I'm gonna say. Well, that's not the reason, though. Like, what's the actual reason? Uh, I'm not going to share the reason. For okay. That. Well, just just so you know, we hired him already, and we're gonna treat him so much better than you guys ever did. See, he told us what assholes you were, and you know what? We're 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 signing him up for like a 401k, and um, we, we're paying him more than you guys were paying him, and we're not gonna. Okay. Tra- so why are you, why are you telling me this? J- just so you know, like you know, he he's moved on to better things, and he has a better job now. And he makes more money than you. He, he makes no, more money than you do. He makes more money you than you. Have a good day. Hey, Josh. Thank you for calling Hobo. This is Lori. How can I help you? Hello, this is James from the corporate office. Could I speak with Angela, the manager? Uh, sure. Hold on one second. This is Angela. How can I help you? Angela, it's Roy from the Walmart. I just wanted to let you know that we hired Juan. And okay. And, you know, we're going to treat him so much better than you because he told us how you abused him sexually. Okay, sir. And, and that, at, like, how you used to like, throw things at him and, and be, uh, belittle yes, him. Sir. None, none of that is correct, but, yeah. you know, I wish you luck with him. Now, he, he said you would say that, but but I know that it's I know that you're just lying. So just, okay, just so well, you know. Have a wonderful day. But listen, he's going to have a better life here without you. Okay, Okay, sir, and sir, this is not a professional way to handle things. I don't have to okay. be professional, not after the and way you, you treated... Have a wonderful day. After the right, way you treated, treated Dwan. 